Gordon Ramsay has been memed so much for his way of cooking scrambled eggs. I love me some scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs are the bomb, dude. They are the bomb diggity. Chef Ramsay really confused me. It, he really confused me because I know I'm like really behind on this entire uh, scene, but like I just saw how he made eggs and I'm like, huh? So I'm here to give you a masterclass on making perfect scrambled eggs. And I'd like you and my wife to join in, please. Where's Tyler? No. no. <laughs> so, never ever seen eggs before you cook them, okay? The eggs turn grey and they turn watery. Gas up, three quarters full, okay? A couple of slices of butter. Thanks, Jack. Clean the pan as you go along. Plastic scraper all the way around. Now you come off the heat. We come off the heat and we continue stirring. Do you know why? Because they continue to cook. So now we get nice and light and fluffy, okay? Now, how gorgeous they look. Looking good. Looking good. Sour cream or creme fraiche, just a teaspoon. Salt, pepper at the end, TJ. Yeah. Oh. Look at that fluffiness. So that's, where we're, that's what we're going for. Like he was making those eggs and they just look so runny and so watery. But then everybody else was saying, no, they're great. They're great. And so everybody is mixed on the internet because I mean, hell, this has been out for three years. I figured instead of listening to everyone else whose opinions don't matter, <laughs> let's just go make them. <laughs> All right. Welcome to my kitchen. We are going to do Gordon Ramsay's recipe. These eggs are actually going to be good. Then I'll, I'll, I will say it, and then maybe Gordon Ramsay will know that one more person likes his eggs, because, you know. So yeah, I got some butter, which by the way, I have a top-down facing camera, so you can see. I got some butter. I got some salt. I got two eggs. And I got some uh, pepper. I, I know that's not necessarily the order in, like, what how I'm going to do it, but anyway. Um, I do not have creme fraiche or sour cream, so what I am going to use is Pa! Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt basically works the same, so if you guys never knew about that, well now you do. I'm only doing two eggs, by the way, because he did like eight or nine of these things, and I'm like, no, that's just, that, that's, that's a lot. I can't do six mother eggs. No, we're gonna do two. All right, let's crack these eggs. They are cold eggs. I don't really know if that matters. I think he said that it's supposed to be cold eggs, but we'll see. And I just made a mess all over my counter. Jesus Christ. I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to be doing better than that, but apparently not. We got our spatula, and we're going to whisk up these bad boys right here. Good morning. I was in the middle of editing this video and I had just realized something. I'm pretty sure that Gordon Ramsay had said to not whisk it until you actually get it onto the stove top. But it's okay because the way I did it, uh, I, I don't think it really did too much of a difference. So anyway, I just figured I'd let you guys know that. Back to the episode. Oh. Okay. And then, all right. Hey, you, listen. No, these are my eggs. Yes, I'm grabbing a spoon to do this, but I don't, I don't care, whatever. They keep doing like two like slabs of butter and I'm just like, okay, listen, bro. If you just take the butter, okay? If you take the butter and you just cut off a little extra that this is not supposed to be used to cut butter but if you just take a little extra from the get-go throw those bitches in if I didn't screw it up you wouldn't have to have multiple cuts of butter in the eggs I'm, I keep looking at it and I'm like why do you keep cutting multiple pieces why don't you just cut one big piece and just throw it in there it's all going to melt the same all right so that's in there all right let's go ahead and Get this onto the stove. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So I just whisked it for 30 seconds. Apparently you're supposed to be doing this for three minutes, whisking it all the way, like for 30 seconds uh, on the stove. And then you take it off the stove and whisk it and then do it again, but yeah. 
Alright, now I'll throw it back on. Gordon, if these eggs don't come out good, I'm going to be very upset. Alright, now off for 30 seconds. What in the hell is going on with these eggs? They are so watery, bro. God, I hope they're going to like take a form or some shit here in a second. This is good God. <laughs> they look bad. Alright, this is the last 30 seconds on the stove. Oh my god, now, now it's just sticking. Now, wait, what, what What? the hell? Now it's just sticking. What, what the... What? It's just sticking everywhere. Ah! It's going okay. It's going alright. Looking pretty good in my opinion. Okay, well I'll sit like this. Salt. And... Pepper. And... Not creme fraiche. But it's good enough. Jesus Christ, I should have been more prepared. Oh my god, I have never used Greek yogurt. What is this? This is my roommate's, but you won't care. I think she uses it for cooking as well. Come on, Crib Fresh! Come on! And now, we, we stir that in. Oh yeah, look, look, look at how fluffy that shit is. Oh yeah, you know what? I also want to get some cheese on this bitch. Can't go wrong with cheese. Alright, alright. Yeah, mi mix all that shit in. Mi mix all that in. <laughs> I don't know if the cheese is going to melt or not. It may, the, the eggs are still pretty well warm. This is so bizarre. I have never made eggs like this in my entire life. I've never seen anyone except for Gordon Ramsay and other people who copied his recipe online, do this shit. I have never seen this. They, they came out okay. I mean, they're not horrible looking. I don't even know how to point at a camera. It's so weird. I'm not eating Greek yogurt, so that I'm, I'm not touching that. This just has a little bit of butter on it though, so. Well, the cheese is kind of melting, I think. I don't know. All right, taste test. It's weird. I feel like that there's too much butter because I didn't do six freaking eggs. I don't know how to feel about it. Minus the cheese. I would think of this as something you could get at a fancy breakfast style restaurant. Now he does chives and I didn't do that in mine, but I guarantee you if I did chives, it might have been better. But honestly, the cheese is the way to go, man. It's eggs, but listen, I'm just hungry. So I'm gonna eat my Gordon Ramsay eggs. So I'm gonna sit here and just think about where I've gone with my life. Think about where things might have went wrong. Why am I still here? Just to suffer. Yeah, it's good. I would like to try it with chives, just to get the full effect on it. But always, always add cheese. If you make these eggs and you don't add cheese, you're fucking up. Now that I've looked like a heathen on camera and ate eggs out of a pot, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!